Hello everybody, my name is Jackie Hero and welcome back to another episode of Jackie Land. Why have I started singing Jackie Land now? I don't know, but I really need to stop. In the last episode, I built this um, work of art in the sky, this um, Feng Shui Borg Cube. I don't know. This thing, this box in the sky. Okay, and it ain't too pretty. I've, I, what's the button? There's the, that's the wrong button. That's the button. Okay, it ain't that pretty. You know, it's, uh, it's not meant to be. It was just, it's not really meant to be functional or anything or uh, to look like anything particularly special. Uh, I just wanted a sort of weird shape in the sky. And I think once we get a few more different farms around this place, which I keep promising and so far have not done, uh, but once we get a few more, it'll, uh, it'll sort of blend in a little bit better. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually thinking about changing this one up as well because I don't like the diorite on that, so uh, that's the thing. Okay, so let's just take a quick look down here. Now, uh, this is probably about the same as what we had last time in the last episode, but that's okay. I haven't really been in this area uh, recently, uh, so that's all right. Um, but this thing is actually, uh, it's pumped out so much iron already, I honestly don't even need it anymore. Like, that will probably last me a huge amount of time, one would think. Okay, but today, we are not working in this area. Today, we're going to do some proper Jaggy Aero building in the castle area. So, as we approach the Castle Harbour area, you may notice a few different changes that... Stupid boat. A few changes that I've made in this uh, in this general area. So I've extended the dock so that it is now probably about 11 blocks or something from the shoreline. And that is to make room for some market stalls that I'm going to be placing here. Um, these are just temporary, don't worry. These are, they, I will work on them. They won't look like this uh, <laughs> in the end. Okay, we're going to add a few more details and stuff. Uh, and there's a couple more over here. And then behind those, you can see the layout for a wall that I'll be building. This is going to be a proper defensive perimeter for the castle area. And yeah, I haven't really finalized the design for that, so I haven't actually built it or anything. I just wanted to see where it would go. Uh, next to that, we have a gate. Okay, so this is going to be a big wooden gate, probably made out of stripped spruce logs, I should think. Uh, and then two towers either side of it. Once again, these are not finished. Okay, I haven't finalized the design for these either. They will be extended rather high. I think the, the wall is probably going to be about seven blocks tall, I think. Um, we'll maybe work on that a little bit later on. Uh, maybe not. We'll, we'll see. They make a noise when you walk, walk on them. That's cool. I like that. And now I've got uh, we've got plenty of access to plenty of iron now to make plenty of those. I said the word plenty far too many times. Plenty of times, you might say. Okay, so the wall will continue up to here. And I haven't really finalized the, where it's going to go from there. But probably uh, it, it might go a bit further back so we have more room for some more market stores. And then over here... There's going to be a couple more smaller docks, so nothing like this. Probably about 15 blocks long or something, three blocks wide, uh, for smaller boats, uh, like dinghies and stuff. So uh, yeah, I think that would, uh, I think it might make sense. Maybe, don't really know. Now over here is where we're going to be working today. This is going to be a shipyard or a shipwright's yard or a shipbuilder's yard. Something to do with the making of the ships. Okay, so the ships are essentially just going to be like the Minecraft shipwreck ships because I really like that design. I'll change it up a little bit, uh, but we're not building one today anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, but they are going to be that roughly that size. So what I've actually had to do, if you can imagine sort of the, the carcass of a, a ship here, and then this is where it will be dragged into the water... And then this land actually came like that and then <laughs> curved around there. So I figured, you know, if the ship was going to go into the water, probably don't want a big chunk of land right in front of it. So it would have to make like a hard right or anything like that. Probably not really possible. So I've just terraformed all of this. So that's essentially what I've been doing with my time. Uh, very soothing, I have to say, uh, while I've been watching some terrible, terrible YouTube videos. Okay, so... That wall that I mentioned is probably going to come up to about here and then just shoot across straight across here with a gate in it into the shipyard. 
So you're probably about seven blocks away from this ramp here. And then all of this area here is going to be for the shipyard as well. So we've got quite a lot of, uh, quite a large area to work with. Now over here on this side of the river, we're going to have a, a smaller dock area here with a crane on it. And the crane will be lifting um, timber or lumber from a lumber barge. It's going to come from the river. It's going to come from that direction from a lumber mill that's going to be over there eventually. So uh, we've already got another another build planned for the future as well, just by starting this one. So that's uh, that's quite nice. It's going to go to work rather well into the story of the area. Okay, so I've got a little bit more terraforming to do. I've just got to cut away a few bits of land here. Now you can see I've flattened it all out, but don't worry, the rest of the build will have all different terrain changes and stuff. I just wanted to flatten this particular area. Uh, yeah, let me just cover a quick word of these. I mentioned these um, a couple of episodes ago. I mentioned that I don't really get pillager raids and stuff. And since I've been working this, in this area, I've had four. <sighs> these are crap, by the way. I hate crossbows. They are pointless. Get out of my face. Rightio, chaps. So, as you can see, I've just done a little bit of work off camera here. So, I've just extended... Uh, the dock area, move the wall back a little bit, so we've got more space for some more market stalls and stuff in this area. And I've just started the uh, the gate wall here, and uh, I'm a little bit worried, okay? So this is, the gate's fine, like uh, just, you know, a simple uh, spruce trapdoors gate. Double doors, that means it's four blocks wide which is an even number, and I really don't like working with even numbers, and it may mess up the wall design, ultimately. Um, but I haven't really finalized the design for the wall, so I guess we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it, probably. Uh, in here, I'm just doing like a little design for the floor. Uh, this is not very good, so uh, I'll change that up and play around with it a little bit. I just kind of figure that a shipyard is probably not going to be uh, very clean. Uh, so I'm trying to make it look a little bit dirty and stuff with the dirt. Uh, doesn't really work very well. Uh, I don't really want to use the wood floor for this area because we're going to have... So let me talk about the layout here. I'm going to have a building here. Shut up, zombie. Thank you. There's a must be an open cave down below because I hear a lot of mobs. Uh, I'm going to have a building here and it's going to have a stone base and then the top half of it is going to be wood. Okay. And that is going to be connected to another building here that, again, it's going to have a stone base with a wooden top and it's going to be connected by like a walkway across here. Uh, yeah, like here. Uh, with like an arch that you like walk through and then you can so you can either walk through the arch or you can walk over the walkway and it connects the two buildings okay so two wooden buildings essentially mostly wooden anyway stone bases but wooden tops I didn't really want them to sort of mesh too much with like a wooden floor I wanted them to stand out and maybe they will anyway but I've got a feeling they it will just like they'll just like blend together so uh <laughs> That's why I don't really want to use the wooden floor. Uh, so this building here, the stone base and the wooden sort of uh, top half will be connected to a larger stone building here and then another one here with a gate in between. So like a big, uh, a big gate with like a big log door uh, or two log doors um, opening up into the shipyard. Now, one of the reasons that I was a little bit worried about working on this area in general is because for this, even for this particular build. So if I have these these two stone buildings there and there, that means that I have to have a design for stone buildings in general locked down for this area, for this entire castle area. OK, so I can't just like do a random sort of uh, design for a stone building and then not stick to that design for the rest of the castle. So that got me a little bit worried because, you know, <laughs> I just haven't got the design locked down at all just yet. I've been working on it and uh, I have some ideas that I'll talk about. But uh, yeah, the, <sighs> honestly, it really got me a little bit worried about that. Um, where Where's my next one? Uh, there, I think. And... For that, for that design, let me speak about that. I've been inspired by Mr. B. Blue. 
Okay, so B-dubs is someone that I've uh, been watching for a very long time, and it's been doing a Hermitcraft series, and I've not really been watching it too much, because he's been doing this, like, roleplay stuff on it, and I'm not massively into that kind of thing. And then he posted a picture on Twitter of a build that he was working on, and it's amazing, so I had to start watching again. Uh, so he's been working on a castle to keep him safe in the demise game that they're work that they're playing. It's uh, essentially just a, an excuse to kill each other. <laughs> but he's like protected himself by building this big castle. And he's made it out of diorite. Okay, which is a very bold decision, but he's made it work really well. So not a lot of people can work <laughs> with uh, with diorite very well, and he's just made it work so well. It looks it looks just like an amazing amazing build. Um let me get down there for this one. And it's done, okay, so it's done like the, the bulk of the, the walls and stuff out of diorite. And then for the roofs, it's going with granite. And it's honestly a combination that I never thought would work. And because it's B-dubs, it obviously works. <laughs> it's just so good at Minecraft building. And uh, yeah, so I've been inspired by that. So for a lot of the buildings in the castle, they're going to have a stone base, okay? And then for the upper halves of the building, we're going to go with granite. Nope, we're going to go with diorite. There we go, get it right. We're going to go with diorite. And then for the roofs, we're going to go with granite. Did I say that the right way around when I mentioned? He's done diorite buildings with granite roofs. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take inspiration from that and use, yeah, the top half of the buildings are going to be diorite. And then we're going to have granite roofs with like diorite edges. And I think that could work quite well. I'm just checking. I think I've done everything for this uh, this build here now. Yeah, pretty sure. I think it could work quite well. Uh, so that will also blend into the walls as well. So I'll have stone walls with like granite tops and then somehow fit the diorite into it as well. And also I want to fit like stripped birch in there as well. It got me a little bit worried, and that's why I was really, really sort of uh, worried about working on any builds in this particular area. But, you know, I'm getting into it more now. I'm inspired more, um, mostly by the B-dubs build. So hopefully I can make finally, finally make some progress in this area. All right, but enough waffling on. Uh, I would really like to get a start on this wooden building. In fact, I should be able to complete the the mostly wooden building the walkway and then the mostly wooden building here today in today's video i don't know about the rest of it but we'll see uh, how far i get so i guess off camera i'm going to start working on this wooden building here and uh, i'll start working on a little bit more a better design for the floor i think and uh, yeah i'll get back to you guys when i've made some progress Okay, these have actually been driving me mental while I've been working in here. I've just found an open cave. There's somehow a pig down here uh, with uh, with all his friends. Um, get that. Where's the stupid skeleton gone? I'm afraid to go down there. Yeah, I'd, 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 there's a pig. I'd, I don't know how there's a pig, but there's a pig. Okay, let's go take... Hey, careful. Careful. Okay, it's like I'm trying to save the pig. <laughs> Anyone else? It's bound to be. Stupid pig. Damn it! Well, I was going to show you a, uh, a spawner that I'd found uh, down here, but uh, uh, a creeper happened. But hey, at least I found some diamonds. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I lost uh, my shovel and my axe. I know there was only there was nearly dead anyway, uh, but still, that's quite annoying. Um, it looks like. No, that's not a spawner room. No, that's not a dungeon. That's uh, That looks like something I've done. Ugh, these diamonds better be worth it. I guess... I guess... I got a smite two book. <laughs> Some gold. Uh, a bunch of gunpowder. And at least, I guess, I can... Um, make some new tools out of these diamonds. 
oh, it turns out, actually, that cobble that I found is uh, is part of my strip mine, my branch mine back at spawn. So that just shows you how far I actually uh, go with those strip mines. Wow. Holy cow. Alrighty, but how about I actually get back to doing some building now, eh? Instead of, you know, um, exploding. Mmm, extra crispy. Okay, so I've just made a start on the, uh, the small building here, and as you can see, it's very basic. Okay, so essentially, this is going to be, I don't really know, like a, a, like a mini warehouse kind of thing, I guess. Uh, so in here, there's just going to be like a workbench along this side. And on this side, there's going to be uh, some stairs going up to the second level. And then out here, we'll have like a little porch bit. We'll have like a little uh, thing above there. And there's going to be another thing <laughs> above here, like an awning kind of thing. And then at the top here, we'll have the walkway going across to the next building, and then the, like, arch underneath there. Okie dokie. So pretty basic uh, style, just, just stone. Essentially stone bricks and just smooth stone. And just sort of randomizing it. Um, yeah, it kind of works, you know what I mean? So why not? The floor, I've just decided to just throw in more dirt and put some more coarse, coarse dirt. Instead of having, like, a random block... Um, here and there, I've decided to do like larger patches of it and I think that works a little bit better and I'm actually going to do more of those as well. Uh, I did try um, some Podzol and it just, it was too much, it was, it was too overpowering. Uh, in here, probably going to go for a wood flooring, I think. I think that would look uh, pretty nice in there. So I'll just do a little bit of work on the exterior little bits here. Um, I want to talk about Rise of the, sorry, The Rise of Skywalker. Okay, so the latest Star Wars film, don't worry, I will not spoil anything. Um, it's divided opinion, I know that, and I knew that before going into watching it, and in all honesty, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought, because I, I, I really hated the last um, the last film, what was it? Um, the, 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 wait, the Force Awakens, and then, the, I don't know, whatever the next one was. I just, I just hated it. I thought it was awful. <laughs> One, two, three. Three, four, five, four, five. Okay. Uh, and they, in this movie, they had to do a lot of repair work to fix the mistakes that were made in the last, last movie. And that took up a lot of the time. So, like, two-hour film, and you needed to fix all those mistakes and end the trilogy satisfyingly. And I think they accomplished that. I really do. Uh, they paid a lot of fan service, like probably too much as people are saying these days, but uh, that's okay. I honestly, I didn't mind that at all. Uh, I, I, again, I won't spoil anything, but uh, but yeah, it was it was very fan service-y, but I think quite appropriately. So yeah, it worked for me. So I, I enjoyed it. So yeah, that's my, that's my review without spoiling anything. <laughs> Maybe go into a bit more detail. A uh, further further date, but uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely worth a watch if you are considering going. Okay, so for the sort of uh, I was gonna say interior, I suppose it's interior and exterior walls here at the top. We're going for birch, and I hope I get this right and do this in the right places. I think this is correct. Let me just work that out. Yeah. Okay. So birch is. A block that I don't use very often, but I really, really like stripped birch. I think that is one of the best additions they've made to the game in recent memory. And speaking of recent additions to the game, the Buzzy Bees update is actually out now. I could literally play it right now. Uh, I just haven't. I've decided not to update to it because I want to do a little more trading with the villagers, a little more cheaty, cheaty trading in the uh, the villager trading hall. I'm actually nearly done. I've mostly got the sort of uh, the books that I wanted and stuff. So I guess next episode, I'll be on the Buzzy Bees update. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that uh, this is the sort of block palette I'm going with. Uh, let's take a look at it from the outside. Okie dokie. So yeah, and then I'll probably have uh, just some logs going across here just to bridge that gap and add a little depth to it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, this will probably be covered up and then we'll have the arch coming from there into the next building. So you can like walk through here to get to the little mini dock and crane on this side here. 
Alrighty, so I'll keep on doing some more work on this, and I'll get back to you when I've made some more progress. And look who decided to show up. What have you got today for us, sir? Um, nothing of use whatsoever. These are just, why, why are these in the game? Why, why, forget it, just why? You leave it. You leave your llamas all over the place as well. <sighs> okay, so I'm just working on the roof here, but I'll just take a step back and show you the progress I've made. I, I'm still useless at scaffolding, apparently. Uh, I'm just throwing a few little details about the place, but this is how it's looking so far. I need some fences up at this point. Point, pint, pint. Ah, oh, could do with a pint right now. Uh, this point, um, I get a little bit worried when I start throwing fences at things because, yeah, I, you know, I, I tend to over-detail a few things every now and then, you know, every single build. Um, so I, I posted a thing on Twitter where it's like, my where I'm like trying to tell myself I don't want to go over detailed on this build and my brain is just like throw fences everywhere. I'm trying to resist. Okay. Um I think this is looking pretty good. You got a nice little let me just take the scaffold in down here. Got a nice little veranda out here. I don't know if this is qualifying as a veranda, but it's a porch thing. I I it's an awning. Okay, it's an awning on an outside. I could do like a little seating area here, right? With that would that be... Would that look okay? I don't know. Let's have a go. Uh, so we go... Wah, wah. Uh, let's corner these ones, maybe. Uh, or I could uh, I could put signs on the end instead. Maybe that would be better. I don't have any on me, though, so I'll just leave that for now. Yeah, I might, uh, I might use signs on the ends of these instead. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Um, I've just got to do the roof. Uh, a few little details around the back. Uh, the back is essentially the same as the front, though, so that's nothing spectacular. And then, as I mentioned before, the arch. So the arch is going to come something along these lines. I can't believe that actually worked. Excellent. And then it'll probably flatten out a bit, actually, as it goes up to a thing across here. Do you know what, though? I feel like I could maybe introduce a different block at this point. I think I might go for a stripped dark oak log uh, for the walkway. That might be quite interesting. I don't want to do too much variation of blocks because, you know, it can be uh, too much. But we have used the dark oak stuff before in the build, so, yeah, it could work. Alrighty, uh, what I'll go do, uh, what I'll go, ah, oh, do you know what, I've just had a goo cheesecake, ah, oh, it was, a, what is it, a gazillionaire's cheesecake, ah, oh, amazing, I feel so fat though, okay, it's Christmas, it's fine, okay, I've got an excuse, what was I doing, I'm gonna work on the roof, and then I'll get back to you once I've made some more progress, I say that way too much, I need to start, I need to like change it, oh, by the way, we apparently have a bit of a squid farm going on here, um, yeah, this is uh, it's ultra efficient, uh, brand new design, and I'll be making a tutorial in the coming weeks. And another one for the collection. Right, so let me do a little bit of building on camera here. So I'm just going to build the walkway between the two buildings. And like I said, I'm using some stripped dark oak for the, the base of the walkway here. And I, I really like the look of it. And I did actually consider using that for these bits in, and uh, the top and stuff for this build. But it has a bit of a strange relationship with the stripped um, birch. And it's too, I think the both, like, both together is just too smooth. And adding the, the texture of the, the regular oak logs just looks a little bit better. In my opinion. Okay, um, how can I do this then? So I need um, like that, and then left left, left left. Okay, one, two, three, left left, take a left And ah, okay, so let me just take a step back from there. I quite like that, yeah, so it's a more gradual curve rather than going just straight up with the stairs. Yeah, that's pretty decent. So they'll like, um, they'll drag the, the timber and stuff from the little mini dock there through to the shipyard, which I still haven't made any supports for the boat and it's just hovering currently, but I'll change it, don't worry, I'll fix it. It'll all be right. 
Okay, those there. I'll just like I'll build like one side, I think, for you guys, just so you can see what this is going to look like. In the end, have we got any spruce trapdoors? I have. Excellent. Very good. Okay, a few little details like that. Why not? So it's actually gonna be quite a simple walkway just to get between the two buildings like so. Uh, by the way, I, uh, I built the stairs in here with the dark oak just to set them apart, I think. Um, so they stand out a little bit, as you can see, to the inside. I don't know if it works, but uh, it's what I've gone for. So there, yeah, that's a thing that I have done. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any of those? Excellent. Stick those on either side. And then we need to connect these up somehow. Um, like that. Okay. So this is actually quite a familiar pattern that I've used <laughs> several, several times. It just works really well. Is that a slab? That is a slab. Um, what goes here? Another one of these? No effect. Okay. And then we'll have like some fences. Uh, do I have any fences? Yes. Excellent. There, there, there. Oh, what if we put... Can I do like that? Okay, that works. That works. Why not? Let's try that. So, although your view gets obstructed every now and then while walking through this, I mean, it, that doesn't really matter too much, I don't feel like. Okay, so let's work on the roof a little bit here. So we go with some birch stairs. Um, how can I... Nice. Excellent. Great technique. Pro Minecraft player. Oh. Hey, 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 oh. Oh. Excellent. You have to make those noises, by the way. It helps. It really does. Uh, <laughs> it does help. Uh, I I'm not entirely sure how to connect it to the roof up there just yet. So I've just left that blank for now. Um, so they are going to oh um like that. Okay. Okay. So they are going to connect to another log at the top, but I think I'll go with just probably a regular oak one uh, for this. If I can just... I need to grab one. Grab. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do it the hard way. Like that. Uh, up to there. Okay. And then, do we have any birch slabs we do? I'm so prepared for this. Check this out. Never before seen in a Jaguero build have I actually been prepared for anything, ever. Um, does that actually connect to the last one? It does, okay. Like so, and then we're just going to throw some trapdoors, and let's go for some oak trapdoors, I think, for this top part. Some trapdoors and fences about the place, because you know... The way, the way I detail things is to just throw fences at it. I don't have any. I do. Okay. Um, we need something underneath there, I feel like. So I'll just have a, a look-see at that. Uh, let's go down. Okay, yeah, that's look, looking pretty decent. And then I will try some spruce trapdoors under those there, if I can get up somehow. Uh, like so, like that, see so what that looks like. Okay, yeah, I quite like that. And then for the roof, I'm just going to like, just make it go over there, essentially. Uh, so it, uh, rather than going straight across, it just goes up to a point and then down again, and that should work pretty well. Uh, I just want to add a little, just a little detail to uh, that. And that, I don't want to go overboard with the fences. I already have. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so I've just got to copy that on the other side and then start building this building here. I kind of forgot to show you guys just some work I had done on the interior for this warehouse thing. And it's not really like too much I could do. I'm thinking maybe I could um, Make some like flower pots and stuff, just stick on these shelves here, that kind of thing. A few levers, throw them about the place uh, for some tools and stuff. I'm thinking about making a cartography table and put it here because that would, uh, I think that would look pretty cool here. It's quite an interesting block. Uh, I just don't have the materials for it here. 
Um, in the next episode, no, not the next episode, sorry. In the next few episodes, I'm thinking about fighting the Ender Dragon. Because at the, at the end of the day, I'm ready for it. You know, I've got everything I need in the world right now, except shulker boxes, and I really want those. So, uh, yeah, getting the, get, doing some end bosses and stuff and getting some shulker boxes would be really, really useful at this point. So, yeah, that to be uh, something for you guys to look forward to. Okay, so up the stairs, all I've done, just a simple oak floor. I haven't really done this thing. In fact, I've sort of half finished <laughs> doing this roof bit. I'll just leave that for now. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to put up here. I guess some furniture and stuff. I could, I could maybe, I've forgotten a window. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I could maybe th uh, throw a few different details about the place. I was, I was going to say I could maybe throw a room, uh, like divide up a bit of a room in here, but actually I don't think that would work very well. Maybe this can be like a storage area since this is just a warehouse, right? Yeah. So I could just like do some bundles of boxes and stuff, some crates and that, that kind of thing. Barrels. Barrel. Okay. Through the walkway, um, I could really do with lighting this up, but I'm thinking uh, I could probably put a glowstone block there and put like a carpet on top or something or even a, a trap door. Maybe. I see we have one of our friends around the place again. <laughs> Great. Love them. Okay. Through here. Very tight quarters. Uh, I'm not too sure this is staying like this, but you guys know I like my spiral staircases, so I've just thrown one of those in here. Uh, essentially, this is just going to be a room added on to a large building here. So, yeah. And this looks... It looks a bit awkward, okay? I'm not going to lie. It looks really awkward, so... That's probably not staying like that. Now here, I've just thrown some blocks to do a bit of a layout for the corner of this building here. I, I honestly have not finalized any kind of design for this yet, so this is probably going to be changing um, you know, for the next video or something, or in, in the next few videos or so. Uh, so yeah, probably probably not going to be there. It's fine. It's fine. Just leave it there for now. It's just, just, just to figure out how the layout would look. Uh, so this building is going to be mostly stone with a diorite top half rather than wood and then a granite roof uh, so we'll figure something out for that okay so the big door into the shipyard is here and it looks a bit plain okay so i've got a couple of blocks with me just to throw in just to make a few changes here and see how we can uh, see if we can figure something out for this so we're going to try some smokers um like so Okay, and then I think on this side we'll hide the front holes of them. Okay, so it's just like a kind of uh, like locking mechanism of some sort. I don't know. It might. Does it look a bit funky? I quite like it. Maybe I could add some like. Have I got some stone on me? One, two. Okay, so they would like click into that. <laughs> Very modern. Um. Yeah, uh, maybe. It just adds a bit of detail. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to try these grindstones because these are great because you can place them um, directionally, which is rather nice. So they could be like hinges. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind that at all, actually. That looks fine. Looks a little bit weird on this side, but it's okay. That's disgusting. I actually really don't like the noises they make. Is he stuck in the tree? He's stuck in the tree. Okay. Wait, so you're there. You're there, and I have two more llamas tied up over there. Oh my god, this place is getting infested by llamas. <laughs> Interesting. Alrighty. So, actually, um, this is probably my last video before... Well, this is definitely my last video before Christmas. I hope it actually reaches you before Christmas. Uh, this is my last video for 2019. Okay, so the next video will be in the new year, 2020, which is... <laughs> That has flown by. I am so old. That doesn't feel very nice at all, I have to say. Um, but before we do end the video and go into the new year, I just, I'm going to work on a little bit of a design for the wall and show you guys a few little problems that I'm having with it. Okay, just been playing around with a few different, uh, different design ideas and stuff. I actually think I've solved a couple of the problems that I was having, so that's quite nice. Uh, just throw in a few blocks here just to see what it looks like a little more, like so. Um, yeah, we'll try this down here. Okay. 
Um, so, essentially, my issue is when you're doing these things on an angle, it can look a little bit funky when you're trying to get blocks next to each other, but we're also trying to continue a pattern. For instance, I'm trying to do two uh, diorite, one granite, and I don't think that will be able to continue uh, throughout the wall design. Just because, you know, sometimes you have one block next to two blocks or three blocks next to one block, and it just gets a little bit awkward. Um, so that's the thing. Um, I'm looking at t a couple of different designs for these, like, pillars. I'm thinking maybe just alternate between the birch one and the d uh, granite one. Uh, you know, because I really want to try and gr get granite into it because we're using it for the roofs uh, for the buildings in the castle. And I just think I need to incorporate it into the wall a little bit more. So um, I'm, maybe, I'm thinking maybe even this uh, birch might not even fit into it. I don't know. I guess it depends how often we do the pillars. Like, if we don't do them too often, we can uh, maybe alternate them and see see how that looks. I, I think this could be quite good. So we ha only have these open holes every so often, and we'll probably have some, like, iron bars in there or something like that. And then on the, the back of them, we'll have, like, walkways at the top. Um, so you can walk along the top area there, and there'll also be, like, a walkway at the bottom just so you can look through the windows and stuff. I don't know. I feel like that could work. I feel like that might actually be able to work all right guys so i've worked hard on today's video um mostly just sort of designing things that took quite a long time um but it's worked out quite well i obviously haven't finished the shipyard whatsoever there's still a lot a lot of work to do in here but a lot of it is just finalizing designs for these two buildings here um i'm going to have this wall continue straight along there and probably have some sort of crane design um, like holding like logs or planks over the boat just so that they can, uh, whoever's building it can just, you know, grab them more easy and stuff to get them into place. And like I mentioned before, we've got the little mini dock that's going to be going here. And then eventually we'll have the lumber mill all done and then plenty, plenty of other buildings to do in the castle itself as well. But I'm really glad we've made a start on this finally finally getting my brain around it because it's taken a long time for me to get motivated for this area but now that i have i'm really there uh, i've also got some really good ideas for the uh, the hoodoo hideout as well so we'll be continuing work on there i've got some ideas for the riven dark series which i mentioned previously uh, there's a little bit of an issue that i'm hoping is fixed in 1.15 uh, with that world so that's a thing okay guys i've run out of time I've run out of time for today. I've run out of time for this year. Uh, in the new year, I am hoping to open up my Discord server to you guys. So hopefully we can get a little bit of a sort of community um, thing. Started with that, maybe. How does that look? I quite like that. Yeah, yeah. Genius. I'm a genius. What was I saying? Discord. Yes, so I'll be opening up the Discord for you guys. And like I said, I want to, I want to build a little more sort of a community on there. And you guys can just chat about stuff with me so there okay so i hope that during the holidays um all of you will throw around a bit of goodwill and good cheer to those around you i hope that you all stay safe i hope that you have a good time and have a happy holidays and i will see you in the new year so thank you for watching and i will see you soon